Hello, good evening. My name is Chris. I want to quickly show us how to um, create an electronic form, popularly known as Google Form, for the sake of our businesses and whatever we might be doing. I want to use the example of an event planner that needs to collate data of suppliers. For example, you own an event management business and you help people to organize birthdays, um, graduation ceremony, retirement ceremony and the likes of it. So you need to have data of the various suppliers that you'll be using. Let's say Mrs. Grace Longe retired from civil service and she wants to have a ceremony and she contacted you that is the event planner to help her plan the retirement party as an event manager you are going to be making sure there is rice, there is some um, swallow, there is enough wine, there is enough this and that. A lot of things that will be needed. So there is need for you to have data of the suppliers of these items. Because you'll be handling so many events for different persons. You need trusted hands and you also need to compare their prices. From time to time you also need to have them in different location you need to have suppliers in lagos suppliers in kanu kaduna because you might just have an occasion in kaduna and you just quickly check your database for suppliers of the products in that very location because if you're having an event in lagos and your suppliers are in Kano alone, how will you go about it? Will you tell them to send those things from Kano to Lagos and come and take care of it there? It will be very tedious for you. So let's just look at creating a Google form for an event planner. From your Android device, search for Google like I'm doing now. This is Google. You click on it opens. You click on go to Google Forms. Okay, now you want to fill it now. I talked about an event manager. So what I will do, I will give it a name. You click on this untitled form at the top. That is where you start from. You delete what is there. You press your erase tab. And you type in the name you want to use. Let's say Kelly. Event. Managers, listen, event, sorry, event managers. When you're done typing it, you click on this second untitled form here. If you double click on it, you can see that it has changed to the top uh, name Kelly Event Management. Now you have to describe the form. The form you are creating, what will it be for? Let's say this form that is being created by Kelly Event Managers is to collate suppliers' details. So the name of the form should be supplier details. Supplier. 
suppliers detail details okay suppliers details what and what would you want the suppliers to send to you you can start with name full names you can say full name full name okay you can see that the response here changed to short answer but if you should type in full name maybe the, the supplier's name is very long the space might not contain it so you click on this location here it opens and you select paragraph so that if the person's name is very long it will contain you can see paragraph two lines no matter how long if the person is having four names tamuno uh, uh, baratiemo uh, those the long names that you can think of together it will not be a challenge then you click on this required for it to become colored so that the form the the full name will be asterisk at the top to say that this must be answered or else the form will not be delivered when you're done you have gotten full name the next thing you do you click on this plus sign here to add another detail you can see another detail has come up there on that question you now type what else would you need from the person you can say okay location location you see short answer but because you will be having multiple location it is better for you to change it to either check boss or multiple choice as the case may be whichever you want or even drop down there are different kind of locations that you go for as you can see multiple choice you click on options here you start typing in the locations that you, you could possibly work in maybe you you want to cover um, six cities in each ge geopolitical zone or one city in each geopolitical zone and maybe the six geopolitical zone of nigeria you have at least one location let's say lagos for southwest you come to the next one you can click portacot for south south you can click enugu for southeast next one kaduna for north east abuja for north central meduguri okay meduguri for northeast kaduna is, is also part of north central you can say meduguri 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 so uh, I might not be actually correct with the state, but I've tried to select states in different geopolitical zone. I might not be entirely correct on this, but to a large extent, I, I think I've done justice to it. You can add as many locations as you feel. Then you click required. So if the person is in any of this location person will just tick the location abuja or anything you can go to the next stage and click plus and you write any other location specify any other location specify short answer so the person might just okay i mean benin i mean yenagua because it's not there so the person will just come here and specify 
then you move forward and click a plus sign notice something I did not make any other location compulsory because if the person has selected among these other states these other cities there won't be any need for this if the person is not among these the person can as well choose uh, write the location he or she is based so i'm not going to make the two locations compulsory because if i make it compulsory if you don't feel it you cannot deliver the google form so i'm going to click on this again and remove this click on it it's no longer compulsory like you feel like you don't feel you can send the form so i moved to another question you can see dates very important the date the person will send you will fill this form very very important then okay, make that one required compulsory what else plus what else will be required again okay name on account on bank account good name on bank account make it required click on plus sign again for something else account details account number and bank account number and okay you can just leave account number on its own required plus sign again bank required you can go on and on and fill as many as you like by the time you're done <coughs> excuse me there's nothing on your mind again to feel you now click on response the essence of response is to connect a spreadsheet so that whoever that is filling this form when they fill the form their details will drop into a spreadsheet in your google drive by so doing you are building your contact list you are building your business contact list you be surprised that you start giving out the form out to the suppliers you'll be meeting for you know you have different suppliers that can supply different items you can have like six or seven suppliers that can supply um, wine you compare their prices and you go for the best it will just make things easier for you so now that you have clicked on response you click on the cross there you see create a new spreadsheet you click on create you have created a spreadsheet now you have to connect that spreadsheet to a mail so that you pick the response from that from the google drive inside that your particular email as you can see these are my emails i can decide to pick anyone let me choose the first one i click ok it is creating now it's creating somewhere for me now it has created this so for us to return to the form we are building you click on this on your phone so that you can see everything you're working on you can see this is the sheet this is the re response itself this is the form you are creating so you are still returning to the form now you click on the form and the next thing you do 
is to complete the process by clicking on this sign that looks like a triangle you see medium to which you can send you can send it as a mail as you can see the mail is ticked there you can type the person's mail and send it to but for best practice i usually advise people to send it as a link so you click on this very sign next to the boss this is the link to your google form you check this to shorten it and you copy the link when you click on copy you have copied the link what do you do you can just go straight to your whatsapp or any of your close friends whatsapp and paste it there you can see what i did i click on this um first three bosses here so i can see everything clearly and know where to go to including my whatsapp you can see i have scrolled down this is our class now i want to drop this form on our class i click on it paste i've sent it so whoever fills this form the response will be dropping here This is just how simple it is using your Android device. Thank you very much and I hope this will shed more light to what we are doing. Thanks.